Hey guys, it's Rick, live tooling. Give me two minutes, well, at least two minutes, and I'll make it worth your time. Hey, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is our friendly neighborhood vacuum cleaner. We call him Spot. And actually, check it out. Whoa, he's about, whoa, whoa, stop, stop. So interestingly enough, he talks and everything. But the reason I brought him with me today is I wanted to talk about this little guy. I like him a lot. He's a really good friend of mine. But you know what? He can only do about half our house. And if he goes beyond that half, he starts getting lost. He starts having trouble. And so, as much as I like Mr. Spot, he has his downfalls. What I want to do with Mr. Spot is to segue into why our modular fixture plates make a lot of sense. You're going, what the heck? What is he talking about? Well, you know what? Spot gets lost. Our modular fixture plates makes it possible for your operators not to be lost. You've got row column designators on those plates that allow them to know exactly where they are at at any given time and to precisely locate whatever it is exactly where you want it to be. So today, I'm going to take just a little bit of your time. We're going to talk about how we go about quoting these plates and the kind of questions that we're going to ask you and the kind of thing, kind of information we're gonna need so that we can get you what, you, what you're gonna be able to use. All right? Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you in just a sec. All right, I'm gonna show you about this plate. Let's see. Oh! Oh! No, I don't think so. I think we're gonna get a plastic plate. Okay, we're gonna go with something that I can actually lift. What do you think? So, so here is a modular fixture plate. It is plastic. And some of the things that we're gonna ask you when we're quoting one of these, of course, we need to know how big is it? What is its length? What is its width? But we also would like to have some idea of how wide, how thick this plate is. Our typical plate, 1.9 inches, somewhere around there, but you may want a thicker plate, and especially if it's made from, oh, that's another question that we're gonna ask, is do you want a soft metal like aluminum? Do you want a hard metal like steel? Makes all the difference in the world because it matters what hardware we're gonna put into the plate. So if it's an aluminum plate, a soft plate, then we're gonna be wanting to use hardened zip bushings at the multi-purpose hole location. But if it's a steel plate, we don't need the hardened steel uh, zip bushings. We can just use the board threaded hole and you can uh, get the same benefit from it. Another question that we're gonna talk about and one of the things that we have to discover when we're talking about this plate is how are you gonna locate the plate? In other words, we're talking about the back side of the plate. How are we gonna locate it and are we locating it on a T-slot fixture? Or are we locating it on a flat, uh, like a tombstone, or something like that? So typically, you're going to have some kind of location. So in this case, this particular plate, it has round pin locators. So he, here we have our zerts, our retractable dowel pins to locate it. But we're also gonna need a way to connect the plate to, in this case, a tombstone. So you can see ours is a little bit unique because we have take up holes for our inverter bolt fasteners. Now in a similar way, if you were going to a T-slot fixture, then you might use one of these, a T-slot. So I'll just, I'll just show you kind of how that works. So that goes in there like that. And it's going to be in your slot. I'm not doing a very good job here, but I promise it works. So this is your slot. This is your locating pin. So we need to know that kind of stuff. 
are we going in a slotted fixture or are we going into something else? Um, of course, we're going to have to find out what kind of fastener you're going to use. Are you going to use a 3 8 You're going to use a 5 8 You're going to use a half inch? We got to know that. We're going to where we started was how do we know where everything's at on this fixture? Well, we use row column designators. That's kind of a standard feature, but sometimes we'll have them going across the tombs or the plate in different locations. So we'll want to know that. Um, what else? What else? Uh, of course, we need to know what size. So typically, you're going to have the size of the fastener match the size of the multipurpose hole. So is it half inch? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we need to know. Those are kind of some of the things that a guy's got to know to be able to accurately quote. Oh yes, the pattern itself. This is a pretty dense pattern. You can see that it's two inches from fastener to fastener, but one inch from multipurpose hole to fastener. So we can have a plate that spreads that out a lot, so you have less hardware, or we can have a plate that moves that in closer, and you're gonna have more hardware, but a more expensive plate. So these are some of the trade-offs that we have to make when we are quoting a plate. Your budget matters, and we're gonna try to get you there. But it all comes down to the pattern, the hardware that's going in the plate, the type of material that's in the plate, and the preciseness of it. Thank you for uh, giving me a few minutes of your time today and we'll see you next time. Not today, Spot.